before we begin uh let me ask you all are you all okay ne? everyone is okay ne? <laughs> and then, yeah we can begin and then we are going to talk about like market structure today ne? and then first things first let me try okay cool so first things first market structure ne? and then you find it on the highest time frame we don't use the monthly we use the weekly daily four hour and the one hour to uh, take entries for the 15 minute uh and then first things first we have an uptrend of which is like this like this so this is an uptrend and then if you have any questions you can ask this is an uptrend like this and then you have your higher lows and you have your higher highs at the top and then you have break of structures after it breaks structure then you have your higher high and then when it gets back here you have your higher low like this and then within that uh, ascending channel you can get like entries just because let me just make it a bit larger like this the market will give you like an impulse firstly an impulse to the upside like this and then on that retracement you'll get like some type of a descending channel whereby you can look for an entry on that descending channel to look for a break of structure around here to create a higher high that buy will give you a higher high up to here let me change the color up to here and then you take your buy entry around here supported by the outer structures around here as your stop loss and then you get your higher high and then same thing goes on you get like your higher low in the form of a descending channel and then after that you look for buys up until the trend is changing and then you see that by a break of structure of which you'll get your higher high and then it will break this higher low around here let me just zoom it out like this and then you'll get a break of structure breaking this higher low around here around this area here and then sometimes it can come back and retest the same area before pushing to the downside and then that retest guys is a lower high is because in a downtrend you have lower highs and lower lows at the bottom am i making sense so that we can move on no no i think Bangudo. i got Uh, okay, Rita was slow. Uh, guys, did you all get that? Or am I or I'm fast? I no, we got it. Fast. Uh, let me just uh, start over again. Eh? Oh, okay. Sorry, let me start over again so that you can understand. Eh? Yeah. So we have an ascending channel né? and then this ascending channel will give us a trend and then the trend is to the upside né? and then to the upside you'll get your higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high and then for you to look for a change of trend or change of structure for you to get like selling opportunities just because most of the time you'll get like a ascending channel at the lower time frames you'll get like a break of structure and then on that break of structure know that it will be breaking this higher low here and then for it to come back and retest around this area here it's creating a higher low and then after creating a higher low that break of structure will change to a lower low and then after that you get your push to the downside of which it will create a lower low again and then you'll get your corrective move to the upside creating another higher low and then if you connect everything you will get uh, some type of a trend to the downside again in a form of a descending channel like this you understand this is how you spot your trends 
same applies on the uptrend if you get an uptrend know that around here you look for an impulse to the upside and then you wait for that corrective move to give you a break of structure breaking a higher low to give you a push to the upside creating a higher high and then you just wait again get a descending channel after getting the descending channel you get a break of structure showing you to showing you that you can look for buying opportunities to create a higher high and then did you understand that guys so that we can move to the charts and then you'll see that in the chat but i should go over it again okay guys so same thing applies on this descending channel né? on the descending channel for you to look for buying opportunities sometimes you get like uh daily entries even if we didn't break like a higher low or a higher high we enter trades so if you continue with this trend you'll get like a higher low again a higher high up until we change structure and then we change structure in a form of a break coming back to retest the same area and then on that retest you get like your higher low and then it creates a higher high higher low higher high up until the change has been confirmed and then it did it is confirmed most of the time with some type of a retest that the retest is structure guys it's market structure it's not uh catering for like your break and retest it's just market structure following market structure so <clears throat> that is how yeah like you look at your market structure and if you didn't understand that you can just uh, tell me the part that you didn't understand so that i can go to it again just because these are the two structures that we focus on in the markets there's no need for us to focus like on a uh corrective move né? and then a corrective move is like that sideways trend that i always talk about so there's no need to focus like on a sideways trend just because we don't trade sideways we follow structure so this is the sideways trends this is the sideways trend if you need to know it sideways trend and the market will just be moving in this type of fashion no structure just moving like this guys so we don't trade like those uh, structures we only focus on trending markets so there is nothing that you didn't understand né? you understood you understood everything né? so let's look at the chats okay so uh let me just uh cut let me just use like uh some in another pages because gold trends too much and then the reason i'm saying that gold trends too much as you can see here this is an overall trend so let me just use aud usd let me remove everything and what i'll do is that i'll move to a lower time frame and then try to squeeze out the price action so that you can understand né? so i squeezed out the price action so let's cut to uh let's cut to let me see maybe 2020 né? let's cut to 2020 or 2021 it's fine 2021 okay so let me refresh them and then go back to the daily chart so on the daily what you do is that you zoom out the overall price action and then as you can see here we are in an uptrend and then you can see that by putting out like a trend line like this there's an uptrend and then this is another trend line that we cater for at the top of the structure like this so we're in an uptrend let me just try and squeeze it out so as i was saying guys impulse to the upside and then you get the corrective move that will give you like a descending channel and then push to the upside so which means up until you touch this area then we look for selling opportunities so let's uh, play that price action and see what we get so let me just use a indicator around here by a high change the color to black uh 20 k 
okay so yeah let me just change the momentum around here and then uh, another thing that you must cater for if you are trading is this pattern with an a pattern eh? So we're looking for a higher high at the moment for us to look for selling opportunities né? and then the selling opportunities comes in a form of a uh, corrective move and then push to the upside just because we didn't break structure as of yet né? so let's let me just speed it up a bit So we haven't touched any structure as of yet. And then I think this is a structure within a structure around here. This. Let me just remove this around here. Let's see. So we have broken like a structure. Let me see. So we haven't broken any structure at the moment. So now we have broken like a structure around China. And then what you can wait for is a type, some type of a retest and then the market will change the direction slightly as you can see. So let's check that and then let me just use like a line here and then let me just customize it to a break of structure BOS now break of structure and let me change the color and you have your BOS around here let's And then it seems like uh, the break of structure is not like uh, a good one just because we have like a week around here. We don't have like the body. So let's see what happens. So I'll just remove these ones around here so that you can see like everything. Put this back a bit. Then from here you can look for selling opportunities, even though like the break of structure is not convinc it's not convincing, but you can start looking for some type of this uh, price action like this. So let's see. So this is a sideways trend. Né? As you can see, we are moving sideways. There's no trend going on around there. Let me just change the background, change the color, style, color black. And then as you can see, I've boxed out like the overall price action and then it's moving sideways. Né? let's do this and do that and let's play the price action so now it's trying to push to the downside as you can see okay so you can put like your analysis correctly correctly then guys you have to get like a paid version of trading view so that you can backtest everything that we uh, do in the markets so that it does not be a surprise if you see like a corrective move and then a clear push to the downside so as you can see here we've created a descending channel in a form of a uh, 
lower low guys just because we have your higher low and then your lower low higher low lower low then you expect a higher low and then another lower low higher low lower low up until the market pushes or changes direction so it pushed to the downside and then it came back with those buys that we were looking for Now you just change just change like the price action slightly and then you can remove like the one that you are done with of which is this uh buy trend and you focus on this one as you can see here and you focus on this one so let's play the price action then we have your and then you have your higher low lower low and then you expect a higher low around here to give us a lower low so that's how like price action moves most of the time for you to look for entries you just move this descending channel and then the overall larger structure eh? so let's just move price action again and see what happens So we didn't reach like that area just because we didn't add like your uh high point of values and all of that stuff now didn't add any of those so let's see what happens we have another descending channel around this area that's trying to push to the upside again to create like your higher highs and your higher lows Okay, so you change the price action as you can see here and then if you add like your uh, double tops and your double bottoms you can see that why price action is reacting to this area and then you have your uh, ascending channel within an ascending channel and then price action moves guys price action moves from there and then you look for your selling opportunities and then seems like we've broken the structure no we haven't we just slightly went to the upside adding like you can add like your support and resistant and not support and resistant like your double top areas and your double bottom areas your mass psychologies but you have to understand like one concept after the other and then you have like your double top mass psychology around here and then you can just uh, let me just remove that and then what you can do is that you can slightly change like the price action around here after changing the price action you know that you are looking for the 90 percent rule now now let me just remove that then uh it seems like let me see so yeah we haven't broken structure as of yet and then what you do with the structure you evolve it and after evolving the structure then that's where you'll see like a clear price action like this and then sometimes the market fails like to create like your higher highs and your higher lows it just changes direction and follows like the trend that it's going to if it's selling then it's it will sell uh, for the longest and then fail to create like your higher high your higher low around here they'll just drop from there so let's just do that that's the uh, in, in inefficient price action no guys we have sufficient price action and then you have like inefficient price action then as you can see here let's push to the downside and then we reach like the low around here then same thing applies you look for buying opportunities up until this area this is not like a clear descending channel that you can work with but on the lower time frames you'll find that it's very very nice and then let's see if the market respects like the trend and then let's push so yeah it's pushing to the upside as you can see and then it fails around here 
Okay, so let's remove that. So let's remove a few uh, Raylands here. Let's just focus like on the price action. And then sometimes it will fail, as I said, it will fail just to create like a double bottom, just to gain like uh, the strength to push to the upside. It hasn't touched the, like the clear double bottom to push to the upside, but it's trying to form like a W person to push up. Ne? So let me just remove those. And then guys, if you didn't understand uh, some of the things that I'm talking about, you can just ask and then we get to like explain. So as you can see here, you can like evolve the structure. Most of the time you have to evolve the structure. It's because trend lines are inaccurate most of the time. Eh? They're not always accurate. Just because you'll find that you have to like cater for some type of a touch here and then you'll get like price action popping out of that of the trend line like this now so you just have to uh, manage everything that you get like from the market so we have like this larger descending channel and then within that descending channel guys there is a uh, structure now. there is structure within this descending channel you'll find that the market will give you like uh, higher lows and lower lows within this price action now until it breaks retest and then reaches this area gives you like a larger structure higher low and then gives you like a larger structure lower low here so these are like the patterns within patterns that we always talk about now so let me just remove those and then we continue with the price action so break of structure come back to retest and then it pushes and then it comes back to the downside again. And then what you do is that you evolve the structure. Evolve the structure. Evolve it. And then let's see. So yeah, we are at the current market price action now. And then as you can see here, within those uh, price action, we have your double top areas. And then we look left and then we can see impulse down, corrective move, impulse down, corrective move, impulse down, corrective move, giving us an ascending channel at the top of the structure to push to the downside. So that is how we... Uh, correlate everything when we analyze the markets we correlate uh, market structure double tops double bottoms your patterns and then get like these type of uh, entries in the markets so is there any question concerning like the this topic that we are on Is there any question? Okay, cool. So this is the current market structure. So when you uh, combine everything, Yeah, I'll give you two minutes, no problem. So when we combine everything in the markets, as I always say, guys, I don't draw like the overall structure like this. Né? Sometimes you'll find me that uh, you'll find that I'm drawing like the overall price section, but I don't most of the time. Né? I'll just be focusing like on this uh, high point of value. Let's say we are around this area here. We are around this area here and then we are analyzing the markets what i'll do is that i'll look left of which it's around this area here and then i'll see that we have broken the if you zoom out you'll see that we have we have been pushing to the upside we have been pushing to the upside and then we broke structure 
somewhere around here we broke structure somewhere around here also if you can consider that as a structure we can use that and then we broke structure and after we broke structure we started pushing to the downside and then what i'll do is that i'll say that we have uh, an impulse around here a corrective move an impulse a corrective move an impulse and then another corrective move around here so what i'll do is that i'll look for high point of values and then of which the high point of value is around this area here and then another one is around this area here anticipating selling opportunities anywhere around this area or this area here just because the market can just uh, push to the upside a bit to reach like this double top area here before selling off and then in that form people will be caught in the wrong side around this area here so i put that together market structure i'm done with market structure and then what i do is that i'll be pushing to a lower time frame and then on that lower time frame what i'll be doing is that um and then i push to a low time frame if i don't understand like the price action around here and then you can see that if you throw out like the trend lines or a pattern it's not clear enough you don't have like clear touches so you push to a lower time frame and then that is where you'll find like some type of price action that you can work with around this area here like this and then you have your 90 percent rule around this area here and then pushing to a hour time frame and then on the hour time frame you cater for the patterns but then patterns and then on that pattern within a pattern we have this one it's not nice at all so we have this one around here and then i was incorporating like the uh, break of structure with uh support and resistance even though some of you didn't like like the the idea or the concept and as you can see here we have another larger pattern and then let's just play price and see what happens so we are trying to create like a pattern a structure here in the lower time frames to push to the downside also now that's how price action moves guys even though we don't get like uh, all the entries right but that's how price action moves now let me just and then we are left with 10 minutes and as you can see people are caught in the wrong side already and then that is when the market pushes to the downside and then you have your tight flags all the way to the downside you have like your entries and then it's trying to create uh, a larger flag push to the downside and then if you if you look closely guys now you'll see that it's moving structurally now and put like a ray line like this and then i always tell you to use like a ray line just to manage like your price action now. but as you can see we have like the overall price action moving to the downside with higher lows and lower lows so that's how price action moves even though it may pop out sometimes but it's still moving in a form of a descending channel and then we haven't broken structure which is this one here then all in all it's a downtrend so we are left with 10 minutes guys so uh mr miller what were you uh, the two minutes what 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 was it about okay so so what in there hello hello just was that one good and then the two minutes what was it about my king okay can you minutes. hear me 
Ora, o Anguto. Yeah, boy. Hello. Yeah, I'm listening. But I can okay, hear you. Okay, now can you hear me? I'm listening. Now can you hear me? Huh? Let me see. Let me check. Yeah. It's my fault. Yeah, now can you hear me? Okay, you can talk, my king. I think I'll hear you. All right. Oh, all right, all right. Now, I know, I know all the things you're doing it out of uh, patience and to empower other people, Baba. But when I check there, we are almost 19 people. But check now, we are here, we are three. People are out there watching Europa. Renari Tsuri, Harashibadi Ruyoro, Europa, Ritilemo. I know it. Omolo Mwe. Okay, people of If we come here, I think you can type my king just because I can hear you. You can type what you want to say and we can get to it. Like I said, we are left with 10 minutes on this live session. Yeah, but can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Can Yeah, no problem. You can call me on WhatsApp. So I think uh, everything is is, is, is good. Ne? We can have like another session tomorrow whereby we can uh, start off with like uh, we can uh, touch base on uh, market structure again and then we get two patterns, your double tops, your double bottoms. Uh, we can touch base on like your double tops and your double bottoms so that we can get to like... Uh, whereby we are on the same level right? and then guys i'm trying to incorporate like everything in the market i'm trying to create something that we will own and then something that will work for us as a team right? that's why i'll be doubling like on your smc your support and resistant your other blog and all of that stuff i'm trying to incorporate everything so that we can create like a more strategic plan to uh, attack the markets right? so don't be uh don't be let down by me uh, sending like different types of analysis just because I'm trying to incorporate everything, see if like everything will work together. <laughs> yeah, I do like soccer making, but like uh, today I'm not watching soccer. Maybe I'll watch like the, the highlights. <laughs> 